The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. I have my chart up. I'm not exactly sure why it's not out there. Uh, you have a chance uh, that it may be because of a webinar. And uh, so I see somebody else's live here looking at Discord. Any chance uh, that they're keeping mine out? Just a thought. There they go. Okay. Uh, there's Tiger Chat. There's Host Chat. Uh, to, to see what else we have going on here. Um, got some other one. On. Okay. We'll do that. Anyway, uh, as always, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at the appointed time. <clears throat> the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, see, I'm in Tiger Chat. All right. And I don't have any ability to, to uh, share my screen. I'm not exactly sure why in the office. Maybe they can tell me. Uh, okay. I have an event up at the top, a webinar chat room. Uh, okay, I'm in the Tiger TV. Okay. Yeah, there it goes. For some reason, I just had to cycle it a few times, and it decided to go. There we go. Uh, anyway, uh, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, uh, as always, uh, you can leave a message in the den if you want to look anything. Uh, right now, that's at the present time if you're in, uh, in uh, Lutz, Florida, uh, which is uh, at uh, 2.08 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the S&P is up 10 points, uh, Dow's up 209, NASDAQ's off 40, Russell's up 2. So do we have much of anything going on? No. Um, one of the reasons why I got out of my long position for the squeeze on Friday was uh, the incredibly uh, low uh, trend numbers uh, on the Amex. Um at best, it tells you you've got one more day, maybe, of higher prices and then much lower because everybody's long. Uh, the other thing that, that it may be is that, you know, maybe you just have a very tiny amount to the upside to be found. But uh, I'm not thinking that there's a ton of uh, cash ready to uh, descend on the market at higher prices. I think people are trying to buy pullbacks, so you might get that. But uh, pretty quiet day. Um, some of them were lower. Microsoft, Apple was lower a little bit earlier. Microsoft's up a percent. Apple's basically back to unchanged. NVIDIA is down still about four-tenths of a percent, but not that big. Uh, Micron down half a percent. Um, you might have found a low in CCJ. Had some people asking about that, so we'll take a look at it. So, what is this, about 35% off the highs? Uh, let's go ahead and clean this up as we do it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the, the big problem I have is you had some fairly decent volume on the downside. On the 9th, you had 13 million shares. And the previous low out there was at 10 million shares. You know, can you find that maybe this is some kind of level where it will not go lower? Could be. 
Ideally, though, what you want to see is on higher volume lows is consolidation. Um, so I'm not in a big hurry to go out and buy this. Could it just go ahead and rally? It could. I mean, you're up a little bit, 10% uh, off the lows. But I'm not a big fan of that, uh, especially uh, coming down on heavier volume, finding a previous low on lighter volume. What you want, uh, and I'll echo people uh, that I learned from, high volume lows are not lows unless they get retested. So... You know, ideally what you'd like is the next few days for these things to come back on very light volume. Get back underneath a nine-day moving average or my favorite, the three-by-three three displaced moving average. And then uh, on very light volume, go ahead and turn back higher. And then the volume will come in. People will think about it. But uh, I don't see a whole lot out here that makes me want to go, you know what? I want to buy just about everything I can. Uh, life saver. Ooh, I didn't know. Gummies. I just thought that was it. <laughs> Gummy lawyers. Okay. What type of gummies? Any kind. Any kind would find. Uh, they were making fun in the den of my uh, little uh, headline that I have. A little. It's kind of like the mint on your uh, hotel uh, hotel pillow out there. But uh, I hope when I end inevitably choke to death on gummy bears people will just say i was killed by bears and leave it at that uh as i said before 877-927-6648 uh see if there's anything else we got a couple of minutes why don't we go ahead do a little history and then we'll come back to the charts already in progress over most of tfnn and it's all just a little bit of history repeating on this day in 1960, physicist, that's a real smart guy who knows stuff, uh, Theodore Maiman creates the first laser light using a synthetic ruby crystal device. He was not the first to develop the theories behind lasers. Of course, that was Bueller. Bueller. It was Einstein. Nor the first to apply patents, but he was the first to create an operating laser device, the light produced by this device was not a true beam as we think of, of most lasers today, but rather a pulse. Uh, the other researchers would create the first laser beam soon after by putting uh, mirrors on the, each side of a tube and letting them bounce back and forth before they uh, bounce out of the front of the laser, which has a very tiny, tiny, tiny little hole. And that's how it knows that that's what's, uh, where it's supposed to go. Uh, but laser, uh, light amplification through, uh, stimulated something radiation. I don't know what the, la I forget what the AA is for. I used to know all this stuff, but, uh, I do digress. Anyway, on this day in 1960, now we've got all kinds of stuff except laser beams, uh, L.A., Light, yeah. What's the A stand for, though? Light is uh, simulated uh, radiation. Yeah, I had it the first time. I'm tired, I'm tired, and worn out. I shall disappear. I'll play hurt. Be back in. The of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. And as we come back, a uh, question about Tesla from Mike. Um, well, you tested the previous low on the same volume, just about uh, 45 to 46, 47 million shares. So um, the only thing you did was kind of stay in the trading range. Do I see a whole lot more for this? No. What I would love to see is a 382 or so bounce in this if you wanted to go short. Um, I haven't looked at what people were doing out here. Let's see real quick and see on the dailies. How people are aggressively are going after it. Eh? Yeah. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, you're averaging on the day uh, about uh, 25 to 30 percent in that range. Could probably 27 and a half percent daily shorting. That doesn't mean that people still have those short positions. They could have covered before the end of the day. The FINRA data only tells you that people shorted that day, not that they held that. Uh, you had a little lighter volume down from the highs and not a very high volume high. So maybe the best you could hope for was some kind of trading range. Uh, as far as uh, retracements, um, yeah, right about 900 bucks, uh, maybe 875, depends on how the volume is out here. That's where you would probably want to start looking to see that the short sellers have gone. And left, could it continue down lower? Yes, but the risk reward is pretty poor to go short now. This is uh, right under the uh, cow has left the barn award uh, for out there. But uh, yeah, I see a lot of stuff happening. Uh, the new Ford truck gets some pretty high marks. Um, one of my neighbors uh, bought a uh, I Iconic. I think it's a Kia, right? Uh, Anyway, a uh, pretty interesting EV. We drove around in it for a little while uh, Saturday night. But, uh, yeah, interesting. So more coming. I don't know what you can make of, you know, the South Korean brands. But uh, certainly interesting that there are more people and now more things coming. Supposedly, I didn't get a chance to check it, but I did see that 
uh, that supposedly uh, maybe one of those bizarre uh, Mad Max uh, pickups that Musk made is actually uh, rolling off the assembly line. I don't know. I've seen that like a hundred times, so I don't know if I should believe it. In fact, I believe almost nothing anymore. Um, now that, eh, let's just say that uh, people in the press would probably rather climb a tree and tell a lie than stand on the ground and tell the truth. There's little of nothing that they won't change color or alter for their nefarious deeds. So I don't know about that, but uh, just looking at the chart out here, yeah, you didn't get more volume, which is kind of a tie goes to the runner, or a runner in a bull market. But uh, in a bear market, it almost means you're going to get a retest fairly uh, quickly and sooner rather than later. Hyundai, Ionic, yeah, that's what it was. Eh, there's so many of those cars around here. Since uh, we live in a, a area that uh, is known as God's waiting room, uh, most of the people that are 70 years old are not going to drive their cars uh, more than 50,000 miles before they uh, assume room temperature. So they go out and buy kind of the cheapest uh, Korean cars uh, that are available. So they're everywhere. Um, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they get 100,000 miles. But I don't think people care around here as long as they drive and they're new and they don't have to maintain them too much. Change the oil. That's about it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, 877-927-6648. Anyway, we had uh, Tesla, uh, JetBlue, needed the money. Uh, I couldn't help that. Right? JetBlue, isn't it? Okay, Richard wants to know about uh, JetBlue and why oh, it's back here. Um, yeah, I did. I, I watched five whole minutes of uh, of uh, CNBC today. I did just kind of come right into your question here when they were talking about uh, is anything good on a chart basis. Uh, you tested uh, the previous low of 17 million shares with 11 million shares. Uh, the thing I hated, I don't even know the guy's name. He's always on there, though. He's been around forever, I think, uh, that was talking about why uh, you should be buying airlines. And for a guy that's supposed to be an expert, I'm a moron when it comes to uh, airline companies uh, and their books. But I can tell you how they trade. I don't think you have to be a rocket scientist or a uh, or, or uh, anything like that. And my experience, airlines uh, trade on the future price of jet fuel since it's 80% of their business, not the current price of jet fuel. And the reason why is uh, they've always, if you know, they sell tickets early. They hedge the price of that ticket out through futures on fuel, especially jet fuel and regular fuel and diesel. So if the prices go up in the short term, no big deal. But let's say that uh, prices are going higher, are going to stay higher. And again, we know the current administration um, has a lot of folks in there that say that they want to bankrupt uh the uh, fossil fuel industry, whether it's crude gasoline, diesel, whatever. Uh, and they've made no bones about it. They think uh, the price to actually crush everything and destroy the economy is $8 a barrel or $8 a gallon uh, to destroy everything and then gain world uh, domination. I don't know what they think after they got their back crap crazy idea of $8 a gallon. Guess what they're going to do. I'm still ticked yesterday, spending 75 bucks to fill my tank. But I do digress. Uh, could this bounce? Well, you got a little bit that what I dislike is the heavy volume down on this last leg. Again, if you come down on heavy volume, 
uh, on the leg, or you come down and have heavy volume on the previous low, and heavy I mean somewhere close to the previous low. In this case, we didn't. You got to think that consolidation, especially in a bear market, is something that you can get. Wyckoff would say that you could get an automatic rally. That is one that has no uh, preparation if the energy came down on a lighter volume and you got the uh, vo lighter volume at the lows. Right now, you just have one of the two. And generally, yeah, I'm going to say 65 70% chance of consolidation over a V bottom in uh, the airline. And I know there's other stuff going on out here than buying airlines, but if you want to know what the price of an airline is, in a, uh, just know the price of jet fuel in a year. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Out of volume, we've got about 7.4 billion shares at the bottom of the hour. That's the uh, 30 minutes after the top of the hour for those in loots. So uh, we've got 30 minutes uh, to go uh, before the next top of the hour. Again, if you're at loots. But uh, 7.4 billion shares, and what uh, does that do? Yeah, I think we were doing about 9, 9.5 billion shares on Friday. So uh, is it better than on some days uh, a month ago? Yeah. Is it uh, probably a little bit uh, high still? Eh. Uh, again, options expiration is on this Friday. So I think you're probably going to have a little bit up and a little bit down. Um, options have been rather bullish, but 
for the best point uh, and more probable, you have a very slightly higher price uh, for Friday uh, in the mix with the possibility of some real but smaller uh, downside, uh, not smaller downside, with large downside at a smaller probability. So it's pretty tough to get a, a good risk reward at the moment. I continue to watch uh, options and we'll see. Maybe by Wednesday we'll have something, but right now it just looks like a lot of market gas. And uh, eh, you need ROL IDS or AIDS. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, I don't see a whole lot going on out here. Uh, question about Microsoft MSFT. Um, I mean, you got to know that you've had a big leg down. You could bounce fairly decently. Uh, you still have 287 to 290 open with a fairly good confluence level. Uh, if you did get a bounce or if you short this thing, you have to know that you could take heat uh, till there. Anything above that is problematic. Uh, but I don't see any reason to do that. I would probably would have taken my cash and run like hell. Uh, to to actually put it in a bank somewhere. Uh, but 290, yeah, you could see that. Uh, Friday, probably not. Maybe by the end of the month, uh, probably need to come around a little bit. I'm not a big fan of being short. Uh, the big caps down here, but hey, what? Let's take a look at uh, more of the usual suspects we have here. Uh, same kind of thing with Apple. Uh, you had a big, strong move lower. Uh, yeah, 151 possible, 150 ish. That's it. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, where do I think AMD and Nvidia will be? Well, I disliked it on Friday. Uh, I wanted to play the squeeze. We got slightly higher today. We got about half the volume. Um. Uh, Again, there's not a whole lot here. If we could find some low uh, back to around 90-ish, 90 maybe 9250 on AMD, then maybe you could open the 113.98 confluence level. That's a pretty good indication that that's where this thing wants to go. 113, uh, actually 113.98 to 114.28. So pretty good indication of where extreme resistance is going to be. I just don't know if you can get there without prop, uh, preparation. Now, here's the good sign that you could get there without having to pull back. That is, you came down in a double repo pattern. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, 18 days below uh, the 3x3. Three three. You get a handful of days on the way up, four of them. You get four on the way down. You close back above it on Friday, and you get something out here. I'm just suspecting, though, for at least a couple of days, you're going to go sideways and get more short positions in it. Over time, could you go to 113.98? You certainly could. Would that negate a bearish market? The answer is no. What I would love is for this thing to hover around 100 bucks till maybe Wednesday and get the opportunity to buy some calls on it. But uh, I think there's going to be some back and forth on this before you have a lot more higher. Uh, and because uh, any surprise is uh, probably going to be huge to the downside, I would only be uh, playing this with options. Our right, NVIDIA, uh, your confluence levels on that are 228 to 238. Um, you've got kind of something similar on this. Um, you're really just closing above it. This is the weaker of the two, though, in the pattern, mostly because of the huge volume down. This one may need a lot more in the way of uh, consolidation before it goes higher. So I would wait till uh, for AMD for anything. I want to see it settle in and see how it attacks 100. And then look at options from uh, maybe Wednesday noon on for that. Uh, take a quick look at the Googler. Let's see what else we have. Okay, Google. 
Uh, well, you kind of at the, what looks like maybe a low. The problem is you got no volume today, so you don't have a whole lot. Again, a lot of these things in a bear market, you should your default condition should be to consolidation, and that means that you want at least a couple of days of these things going sideways for short sellers to pile on and confirm that. Uh, but at the same time, not give up the ghost. But uh, if you got it all today or another move higher, my guess is it just fail. Uh, slow and steady probably wins the race. Uh, you've got a gap right there at, uh, what is that, 240-ish, kind of the top of that gap. So you could get there, 240, 200, yeah, 2,400, uh, and yeah, what is that, 40? Yeah, 2440. He did say, uh, and that is just a bigger move uh, out here on a longer Fibonacci level. Let's go back and look at it. Um, that's the uh, 382 on the upside. Uh, what is that? 2408, 2409 up there. And then you have a couple of other moves. So, yeah, could you get a bounce in this? Uh, yeah. What do I dislike? The exact same thing everywhere else I see. And that is this huge energy coming down off the top. Uh, at best, you get consolidation. At worst, they fail lower. So we want a couple of days sideways out here for a lot of these stocks and then potentially higher. Uh, dollar sign net. Is that the same thing as just NET? I don't know why everybody puts a dollar sign in front of stuff. I'm going to just assume it's net. Okay. Uh, Cloudflare consolidation is pretty wide from 100 and what, 3 to 1, what is that, 116? 101 to 116. So pretty wide level. So that's just going to be kind of mushy, but that's probably where you run into hard uh, bounce and of course that's fairly good that's 50 percent bounce uh but like all of these uh volume did de uh, increase from the march 29th low uh to the may 10th compared to previous moves out there so i'm not a big fan of thinking that a lot of these uh are going to move again double repo patterns pretty much everywhere on the bottom you got your first two days above that you want another day or two underneath it then the next move above it, then make your decision on what you think is going to go wrong. But uh, I think we need some uh, more work out here before the market. We'll be back. Next Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we come back for the last big segment, before the last small segment, before the end of the show, uh, we're up 18 points on the S&P cash, up 275 on the Dow Nasdaq, down 12. Russell up uh, two and three quarters. And we have a question about the TLT. Uh, what do we have out here? We came off those lows. Uh my thought is this thing, and I've been thinking for a while, is you should have stopped at 118. It blew through there. And again, this is a huge market. Once you get it moving, it's hard to get it to stop, either going higher or lower. Momentum is a big part of the trade in bonds. Uh, herd mentality, flocking mentality in the bond market. Uh, do I see a lot? Nothing. I, you know, I would think that the Fed is probably uh, getting enough flack that it, Probably wants everything just to cool down. So could you see this back at 120? Yeah, 121-ish. But uh, it's just a little while before the Fed goes back and raises rates again. Uh, and then you're going to go down to 112 and see whether you can bust that. Uh, hold, uh, hold or sell. PFE. Take a quick look. Uh, part of the giant in, industrial uh, vaccine complex, Pfizer. Um, yeah, I was actually reading some stuff this weekend. I don't know uh, how much uh, reputational risk these companies have, but I think it's going to be rather large. Uh, there have been some uh, individuals uh, in, I, I'd call them polit uh, political uh, action committee kind of things, but more on a, a, an issue than on a candidate, uh, have succeeded in pushing out and finding just how the uh, seamy underbelly of uh, these businesses are run. And our, our uh, leader, uh, shameless leader, Mr. Fauci, uh, not letting people know where all this money comes and where it goes at the highest levels of power uh, in the... Uh, NH, NH, yeah, National Institute of Health, NIH. Uh, but apparently uh, there are, what was it, 100 pages, uh, no, no, it was 20 pages, it was 20 pages of single, uh, single lines uh, where money has uh, gone to various folks and companies for, uh, from the government to these companies and a Apparently half of it's blacked out for some unknown reason. Um, my guess is that when we get into next year, uh, we'll probably get into some uh, testimony that will not be blocked as it is this year. So I'm kind of thinking that these, you might have uh, uh, ups and downs in this, but I think there's a lot of egg on the faces of uh, members of uh, the U.S. government and these big drug companies 
uh, and the way uh, that uh, money is flowing in and out of them. Uh, and I, I think you've seen some of the those folks already talk about retirement. Uh, they'll probably go and try to hide in Africa somewhere. But uh, it looks uh, as much as the it looks like a uh, CIA kind of thing with everything blacked out of who's doing what and where and where this money is going. But apparently, uh, maybe not everybody was in it just to to uh, solve uh, a big problem, but uh, maybe to make a bunch of money on the uh, side uh, through a bunch of deals that uh, probably are not going to pass the smell test. But uh uh, those uh, lawsuits are continuing, my guess is, when those do hit the uh, front pages, uh, there's going to be a lot of egg. So I'm not a big fan of being in the uh, vaccine industrial complex at the moment. Now, if we just look at the uh, charts, uh, uh, yeah, there's lots of stuff. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with politics either. It has uh, all to do with money. Um, so, uh, but politics is going to help that out to get, uh, potential investigations going on. Uh, anyway, uh, what you have is, uh, a, a higher low, then a higher high, a lower high, then a lower, uh, a higher low. And now you're back in it. All you have is one big pendant formation coming out of Pfizer and, as I've said before in these triangles, about 70, 80 percent of the time uh, when these things break out, they'll break out to the to the side that they are not going to for very long. They do a pretty good head fake. And after the head fake, uh, they actually continue on. So I wouldn't make a lot of bold suggestions, but would figure out that whatever this does, when it does break, it's probably going the opposite way. So that's it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, probably not a lot in that industry uh, that is not uh, is going to pass a smell test early next year. I don't know what uh, time frame you were talking about, but in the short term, um, I would be out of the thing and play the opposite side of whichever one this breaks out of first out of this triangle that's developing. Let's take a look at the IBB. Um, I was looking for a lot more last week in the IBB. Um, you do have a couple of days up. But again, I think this is like the rest of the market. We're going to see some consolidation, maybe out through Wednesday or Thursday this week. Then maybe Friday we'll get something. If you're looking for slow and steady higher into the three-day weekend at the end of the month, I think you want to find something that is consolidating and has huge short interest. And maybe those guys cover before the end of the month. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't see a lot going on here. And uh, from the headlines I read this weekend and some of the other stuff, yeah, you, I think if you're long these stocks, you got to worry. There's a reason why they're lower. And that reason may, when that news actually hits the front page, that maybe that'll be the time to buy when everything's in. But uh, I read a lot about uh, uh, the shenanigans, uh, the, the hoot nanny. That's more like a party, isn't it? Uh, the shenanigans uh, and malfeasance going on uh, with a, a circular way of uh, awarding money uh, from the government for this stuff and it coming back into the pockets of some of the people that run those programs. So we shall see. Okay, what else do we have out here? Is that it? Anything else? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, there is some stuff. It's just mostly it doesn't. Okay. Uh, t -t -t what else out here? Question about the XLE. Uh, as we covered at the very top of the uh, time, you know, other than you have very light volume up here on the uh, XLE, you don't have any kind of signal yet. Uh, any flows back low with 3x3, and I would get out finally the XLE. 
nothing out uh, other than light volume. And that makes me worry, but it's still higher and it's holding it. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market markets real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E-mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. We've got the dread pirate uh, Z in the den, and uh, I had to burst his bozzle uh, about uh, pirates and how they actually talked. Uh, they never talked that way, at least the way we see it. It's uh, There was an actor in the 30s that was responsible for starting all that. Uh, but, of course, uh, here in Tampa, it doesn't uh, hold us up from, <laughs> from doing all that same stuff once a year for the Gasparilla Festival. But, uh, yeah, uh, never happened. People didn't talk that way ever, but uh, eh, they had fun the net, nonetheless. Most people think that the uh, captain actually ran stuff. Nah, eh, nope, didn't. It was uh, kind of all by a vote. There was a couple things the captain could do, but uh, everybody on the crew pretty much had to uh, agree uh, and take a vote to do darn near anything. Uh, maybe why uh, hey, piracy didn't last that long. Question about... Uh, Quiogen, um, this is a company that makes a lot of uh, uh, testing uh, chemicals and uh, apparatuses and stuff like that. Uh, kind of thinking of it is uh, the 
company that sells all the tools to do stuff like uh, PCR testing and gene uh, therapies and stuff like that. So they're into everything. Apparently, this is uh, kind of like a, a big catalog. If they don't have it, you don't need it. They do a ton of different stuff. Um, you did have to love that they went right down to the double gap uh, that goes back uh, to, what is that? March 8th, uh, found support there on uh, Thursday, uh, bounced on Friday, and up a little bit more. But again, a lot of the stuff needs to come back down and get some tests. We just don't have enough action uh, to have a, a very uh, predictable rally on a lot of these. I want to see them come back on later. We'll see you tomorrow, same bat channel, same bat time. And in the meantime, help me can. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems a